Hey guys, uh, welcome to your Mercury Retrograde reading for Gemini. Uh, so this Mercury Retrograde is occurring on January 14th to February 3rd. Uh, we are going to take a look at what you could expect, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know. Um, keep in mind you could apply this to any of your placements. Um, and also, um, you know, this could be in anything. So we're just going to see what the cards um, come out with. Uh, there's nothing specific here. Um... Also, just apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. If more than one energy is shown, you want to read. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Gemini, let's get started. We're going to pull some Oracle. We'll get into the tarot. What messages do we have for Gemini regarding this Mercury retrograde occurring on January 14th to February 3rd? What does Gemini need to know? What can Gemini expect regarding this Mercury retrograde? Expect powerful change. New moon. New moon eclipse. Let's see. What else do we have here? Nothing is yet set in stone. So there are big changes coming towards you, uh, Gemini. And then a tough cycle approaches. Balance and it's balance, spirituality, and practicality. I mean, I feel like your patience is paying off. And typically, Gemini is not really a patient energy. But I do feel like there are big changes coming your way. Yeah, there's a tough, tough cycle approaching here. So th this tough cycle could be in regard, obviously, in regard to your personal life here. In this personal life, in your life, it, this could be in anything. This could be in love. This could be in your career. This could be in your money, your home life here. I mean, it could be anything. Uh, let's see what we have here. What else do we have here? Um, what else do we have for Gemini regarding this uh, Mercury retrograde occurring on uh, January 14th to February 3rd? Oh, we have something that jumped out. We have the Emperor here, Aries Energy. There is this energy definitely maintain your cool here, I feel, okay? I do feel like you've been in this more patient energy and waiting for these changes or, you know, setting, um, sort of planting the seeds and waiting for these big changes to happen. Just working on uh, yourself and waiting for these big changes to happen. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Wow. Judgment. Sagittarius energy. Scorpio energy. Um, you know, Gemini, I feel like you're really raising your vibration here, okay? I feel like you have um, basically taken this opportunity here uh, to make these big personal and spiritual changes yourself here. Um, let's see what else we have here. Nothing yet set in stone. So we have Aries energy, Sagittarius energy, Capricorn energy. Gemini, you could have any of those energies in your chart. You could be dealing with any of those energies in and around you, past, present, or future. Look at that. You have the death card, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with the Scorpio here. Um, you might even have Scorpio in your chart. Death. Four of Wands. High Priestess. And the Five of Pentacles. So we have the Four of Wands here. Um... You know, nothing yet is set in stone. You could be new, looking for a new place to live here. You could be wanting to move here, okay? Uh, we have the High Priestess. Cancer, Pisces energy. Could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart. And you could be overcoming financial setbacks here too with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like your money is going to be improving here too, uh, Gemini. You have the Ten of Swords here. Yeah, it seems as though you might be leaving the past behind, you know, cutting out people out of your life, people that are no longer adding value. Uh, this could be, you know, a childhood friend, a family member. This could be with, a, a you know, a past person, a, a past relationship here. 
Um, what else do we have here? The Emperor, Three of Wands. Why is the Judgment card here? Wow. Three of Wands. Okay. I feel like this is more so for yourself here with this Ten of Cups. Because I feel like you're reaching um, fulfillment, happiness, stability here. Uh, you've really been focusing on that. Yeah, you've just been really focusing on that, Gemini. This looks really, really good. The sun, look at that. Page of Wands. We have the sun here, Leo energy. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart. I just feel like you're really focused on things that you're passionate about, things that make you happy. Uh, I, I just really feel like you're making really big plans and really big changes for yourself here, uh, Gemini. Uh, High Priestess. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles here. I do feel like you're working really, really hard. I do feel like you are... working really hard on this, basically the spiritual path that you're on. I really feel like all you've done is basically do right, you know, sort of do these right things for yourself here. You know, Gemini, perhaps you were in this like really impulsive energy in the past. So I feel like you're trying to perhaps, you know, curb that and just uh, be more methodical, be more methodical. You have the Page of Cups. For those of you guys that are paired up or in a relationship, I feel like you guys might be expecting a new child, okay? Doesn't have to be, but it could also, for, the, for those of you guys that are single, you know, you guys might be meeting new people here, okay? Friends, dating, perhaps you're pursuing new opportunities in art, in, in the performing arts, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. I mean, you're in this energy of really going for what you want here, uh, Jenna. Okay, this looks really, really, really good. We have King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the sun here. We have the sun and the seven of swords, okay? You know, I feel like you're get, you're basically getting away and leaving some stuff behind. You're protecting yourself here. I feel like you're protecting your energy. I feel like you're in a much better place than you were before, I feel. Okay? Uh, we have the seven of wands here. You're definitely protecting yourself here, Gemini. This looks really good. What else do we have? Three of pentacles. Let's see, three of pentacles. What? You have the star. Things are really looking up for you, Gemini. Things are looking really, I mean, I'm feeling like once, I feel like the, the more that you keep moving forward, I feel like you're gonna be in this like really hopeful energy. Um, let's see, the star, this hopeful, this healing energy, this peaceful energy. We have the eight of swords here. So I feel like a tough cycle is coming to an end because I feel like you're breaking free from this. Yeah, you're breaking free from this really tough cycle. Uh, this tough cycle could be uh, involving friends or family or, uh, or something like that. Or, you know, this could be uh, revolving your career, your home life. Like I said, I do feel like a lot of you guys might be moving to a different place, okay? Uh, because, I, you know, with nothing set in stone, I feel like there is this energy of moving. There is this energy of moving here, um, you know, yeah, I feel like you're overcoming some financial setbacks here with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, you know, there's this energy of really 
like I said, raising your vibration and ele elevating yourself here. Uh, you know, perhaps, you know, you, you've been getting into spirituality and practicing uh, spirituality or something like that. Perhaps, you know, maybe you guys are getting into meditation uh, to help... Um, to help temper yourself, temper your impulses, okay? So I, uh, it could be a thing where you're showing yourself uh, some self-love here too. But um, Gemini, this is looking really, really good. So Gemini, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.